man is the master of thought, the molder of character, and the maker and shaper of condition, environment, and destiny. Most men fail, not through lack of education or agreeable personal qualities, but from lack of dogged determination, from lack of dauntless will. Situations, even dramatic situations like bankruptcy, divorce, death, and economic recession, cannot directly cause a feeling of any kind until the brain interprets and creates a story about said situation. Sadness, depression, frustration, upset, and anxiety can only be produced by seeing a situation and then producing an interpretation of it and then believing that interpretation. So therefore, you and I can only be overwhelmed by our thoughts about something, never the thing itself. Usually, what we most fear doing is what we most need to do. That phone call, that conversation, whatever the action might be, it is fear of unknown outcomes that prevents us from doing what we need to do. Define the worst case, accept it, and do it. I'll repeat something you might consider tattooing on your forehead. What we fear doing most is usually what we most need to do. I don't get lucky. I make my own luck. Every journey ends, but we go on. The world turns and we turn with it. Plans disappear. Dreams take over. Here's the big challenge of life. You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. And of course, the other side of the coin reads, unless you change how you are, you'll always have what you got. Success is something you attract, not something you pursue. Success is looking for a good place to stay. So instead of going after it, you work on yourself, personal development. See, one of the challenges that we have in our lives is we don't realize that the process of training ourselves, the process of conditioning ourselves actually feels incredible once you get that initial momentum. If you want lasting change, you've got to give up this idea of trying something. You get to decide you're going to commit to mastery. See, most people don't get out in the arena of life because they don't want to fight. Most people don't get out there because they don't want to get knocked down. They don't want to be dropped to their knees. But see, you're going to be dropped whether you're on the field or whether or not you're sitting on the sidelines. You're going to be dropped. Get knocked down so you can learn how to fight, so you can hold your position. The last 6,000 years reads like this. Opportunity mixed with difficulty. That's how it reads. It isn't going to change. You must learn to handle the nights. They come right after days. You must learn to handle difficulty. It comes right after opportunity. You must learn to handle recessions. They always follow progressions. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Clarity is power. The more clear you are about exactly what it is you want, the more your brain knows how to get there. Your reasons will drive you. When you have doubt, when your faith becomes weak, your reasons will fortify your faith. When you have an inner conversation, say, no, don't do that. Your reasons will become your rod and your staff to comfort you, to take you through those challenging moments. Life is this. I like this. <laughs>